Welcome back to the last Remnant video walkthrough. This is Bo. This is the 100% completion low BR running. We're headed to the Ganad district that's opened up for us, and we see a familiar face, I think. Huh? What are you doing here, old lady? What? Excuse me. Do I even know you? Oh, oops. Uh, I thought you were someone else. Huh. Make sure you have the right person next time. So sorry. I'll let it slide this time. Of course, that's on the condition that there's never a second. Okay, yeah, she looks exactly like Emma, and we'll find out why, and she'll be joining us later on as part of the main plot. Um, but that's uh, a little bit deeper into the game. What? You, w you wish to go through these doors? The Marquis of Atham. Well, I can hardly say no to your lordship. I'll unlock the doors at once. But please refrain from telling anyone about this, my lord. Okay, we now have access to the catacombs uh, for the first time in the game. Uh, we can always come back here now, uh, if access it from the Elysian city map. It'll show up there right next to the Ganad district. Uh, this is a, kind of a interesting place. Uh, it's one of the only places that has these rabbit people in it. Uh, they're called Albic Zedis, these things here. They've, they've got little daggers to backstab you. And uh, sometimes they're hard as hell to avoid. They'll charge directly at you. Um, we are trying to avoid every fight we can here, as usual, for a low BR run. Um, but we are going to be forced into a couple fights here. Um, and actually, this is the only place that this happens where they lock all the doors in the room and you have to complete, uh, you know, you have to kill everything in the room before you can move on. Uh, they don't ever do it anywhere else, but they do it here, I guess, just to show you that they could do it. So it uh, keeps it interesting. We definitely don't need to be fighting these landworms. Okay. Oh no, that's not good. Neither I nor anyone associated with the guide abdicate the wholesale slaying of bunnies. But we certainly are going to slay them. Um, we saw that we attacked two bunnies there in the world map. I mean, in the world view, that there are three unions here. Um, I, I may have touched on this before, but when you uh, pull a mob, uh, for lack of a better term, you, you could pull that mob, or you could pull three of that mob. And so, uh, if you you know if you just pulled one, then you could have one to three of them. And if you since we pulled two, we could have had uh, we could have had six. Uh, we could have had two, or we could have had six, but it would have been in that range. So have about one to three on each. I'm not sure if the landworms. I know they get kind of crazy high numbers, but I'm not sure if they ever go higher than three. Maybe maybe four. But anyway, that's why uh, that, that's kind of a judge of how big the battle is going to be. This is not a hard battle. This is tra trash mobs for the first time in this game for us. In fact, I think the only times in this low BR guide that we are forced to attack trash mobs and not boss mobs, um, it is uh, in the catacombs. Well, he's put a debilitating effect on uh, group one. Blacked some of them out. We should have these taken care of in one more turn. Just the one group left. We're not doing the greatest damage in the world. Well, that'll wrap it up. We're still battle rank two. We're not leveling up anymore, but we are getting um, we are getting some drops now, at least. Uh, from the specific creatures we're fighting. Uh, and that opens the door and we can move on. Uh, I will speak briefly on uh, how a zone is populated. Um, no matter when you come in this zone, there could be... Uh, there will be Al Albic Zedes. Th those things are guaranteed spawn. You can kind of hear in the background there, there's a Terrapest, a giant beetle to the right there if we were to look, but we didn't. Um, and obviously these landworms how it works is there is a primary group of monsters that, in the case of the catacombs anyway, will always be in there, and that's Landworms and Albic Z. They, they will just, doesn't matter how many times you leave and go back to the world map, come back in, go to the world map and come back in, uh, they'll be there. Uh, 
And then there's a secondary group of monsters. It looks like we have to fight these guys uh, again, but we don't. We're just going to go around them. Then there'll be a secondary group of monsters, like those butterflies there, or Propelions, or whatever they're called, um, that could be in, in the zone. Same with the Terrapest. That Terrapest could have been a frog. Um, but these landworms will always be there. And to see which uh, groups of mobs will sometimes be there and which mobs will always be there, you can look on the wiki. It's got all that information. And this is just dumb freak accident that these guys do not charge me. I, maybe they're looking at the wall. Maybe they don't have a good angle. But they've aggroed at this point, but they're not they're not able to turn or come at me. I have no idea why. Uh, they're not showing their I'm afraid symbol, so they should be attacking. Uh, whatever. Bank error in our favor. We're just going to move on. Um, but the secondary mob could also be a rare. So uh, you know there's a rare spawn when, like, no butterflies, terror pests, or frogs spawn. Then you know a, a rare spawn because the normal mobs aren't there. And so looking at the wiki answers all those questions and when you're rare hunting which we'll be doing uh, a lot of later on it's absolutely integral to have that uh, this is also the only zone that has that fog that slows you down so you don't have to worry about that in fact we won't be coming back into this fog for many 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 more videos there's no reason to even try to avoid these guys uh, it's uh, not worth the sweat. It's better to just take the fight and take a slight XP hit. They are the lowest level mobs in the game. The pests are... Uh, and, and easily killed. Uh, the, F, the SS pests uh, that some of these groups are, you'll, you'll see that sometimes where it'll say pest if you were to like mouse over it uh, before you fall. It would say pest, but it might be they're all SS pests. But usually it's a mix of the two, um, or, and other mobs do that also, uh, with, like greater versions. Like if uh, you, you may attack uh, butterflies, and there'd be greater butterflies or godwoods, spiritwoods, uh, just because it's uh, they just show the general name of the creature when you're uh, engaging. It. And the greater versions, like this SS Pest, uh, does drop some different loot. I, I don't want to drop way too much information on you. It's, it's not something to worry about at this point in the game. We're just trying to power through the main quest. And these guys shouldn't be doing this much damage to us. So. But it's given us a chance to heal and uh, should be getting some uh, remedy and herb upgrades with these. Nice. Still BR2. We've got our chains up to 16. I'll talk about uh, what the chain is pretty soon. Yeah, There's McGrady got a Restore 2 upgrade. That's so for remedies. He's now a better healer. So that's an excellent upgrade, and we'll see the result of that immediately. Oh, we've got a Captured Pest here. We have the option to split it, and this is the only time you can make this decision. You either keep the Captured, captured Pest, or you split it... Uh, most every mob can be captured and what we're going to do in this game is we are going to split every single normal mob we capture and we are going to save every single rare mob that we capture by selling the captured mobs it doesn't matter where you sell them you open up the items at vendors um, so it's gonna allow us access to better equipment um, we've got four, four mobs here but we don't want to fight them all at once, because you notice in that last battle, we got a lot of skill upgrades from just fighting a few landworms. Uh, when we fight these individually, uh, we have more chances for stat upgrades real early in the game like this. Not later on, but real early. The, uh, you can only get one stat upgrade per fight, and so at the very, very beginning, Sometimes it's better to split them up. That way you might get uh, two or three um, upgrades out of the group instead of just one for fighting them all at once. Um, and this kind of leads into linking and chaining, which we'll, uh, I'll talk about here for just a second. We've only we're only link. Uh, I'm sorry, chaining these uh, 
Now I'm confused myself. We're only linking these one at a time. Uh, and linking is how many you engage when you time shift near them or engage them. How, how many mobs you aggro. The chain that's displayed at the top right that says 19, that's the number of mobs we've fought in this zone since we've got here. The only thing significant about that number is if it reaches 100, 200, or maybe even 400, it gives massive boosts to your uh, stat upgrades, skill upgrades. So when we do a, our grind eventually, several, several videos away, we'll be doing the PC Ultimate Grind, um, we'll be getting a huge chain, like over 5,000, I think it's about 5,800 when it was all done, and it will be massively improving our stats. But it's a low DR run, so um, we'll be still avoiding mobs up until we get to that point. See, yeah, massive upgrades from just fighting one mob. The items, I, in my experience, they're all are all the same. Whether you fight all four of these at once or do them one at a time, you're going to get pretty much the same number of items. They say you have a higher chance of capturing when you uh, link more mobs together, uh, but it, it seems to be about the same if you do it separately, to me, anyway. On the, if, on the Xbox version, these rules don't apply. They're, they've got a whole different set of rules. Like, if, uh, if you um, fight multiple mobs together, you get like an XP bonus. And so it would force you on the Xbox, if you were doing a low DR run, to single pull everything in the entire game, which is very tedious. Uh, but that was removed from the PC version, I believe. Um, Another thing is, if the fight goes longer than 10 rounds or something, I think there's an innate XP bonus that it gives you, uh, which uh, we try to avoid for the most part. I don't, I don't think other than a boss we fight anything more than 10 rounds. But I'd be glad when we're done killing bunnies, but it's, that's pretty much all we've done this video, is uh, kill innocent bunnies. It makes you feel like a real man. able to cast our healing abilities. We actually want the mobs to do damage to us so we can practice our heals. We'll have a lot less time to practice them uh, with less fights, so uh, the more damage they do without actually killing us, it's perfect. Also, you notice uh, David there just cast a spell. Um, that second group's kind of stuck. Some of them are on mystic arts, some of them are combat arts, and you can't do both at once. And so... Inevitably, half the group will be doing something it doesn't want to do, We're leveling up in the wrong way. And so, uh, you want to go in and turn off the abilities and split out your mystic group from your combat group, and we'll be doing that later. Um, I don't want to get into all that. See you, son. Dad, Arena's been. Yes, I know. You're the Marquis of Athlum. Mm -hmm. kidnappers are after. This tablet can put remnants into a deep slumber. It was developed by your mother. 
Where is she, anyway? She's out there, luring them away from this. What? Don't worry. With this, getting Arena back should be a snap. Your mother will be back soon. You've done well, Rush. We're going to be fine. I hope so. You can get caught up later. Let us return to the embassy. Dad, it's okay. You're not alone anymore. I know. Thanks, kiddo. that easily, John Sykes. What did you do to him? Hand over the tablet, or he dies. And come and get it! Life is not in danger, but it looks like he is in a coma. There's no telling when he'll wake. Well, I'll bet he was cursed. We need to track down that mage post haste. I believe he's the only one who can save Dr. Sykes. Wagra. <laughs> if only I knew where Mom was. That reminds me. Do you remember what Dr. Sykes told us earlier? About Ms. Marina luring away the others? What did he mean by that? I'm at a loss. I think I may have an idea of her whereabouts. Really? A fine time to tell us. I must ask a favor. I wish to seek her out in the company of Rush, and Rush alone. Just the two of you? Yes, my lord. Would you care to explain why? Oh, I see. Lord David! You have been a faithful servant to Athlum for many years. I place my trust in you. Lord David. Rush. Watch over her. She is not as tough as she appears to be. Gotcha. Let us return to Athlum. There is much to be done. Yes, my lord. Rush, know that your father is in good hands. I know. Thanks. I will see you back in Athlone. 